If you clicked on this video, then you must be wondering how you can get your hands on an Xbox Series X without all the hassles of going to those stock websites and mashing the buy button before all the bots get a hold of them. Well, listen up, because I'm about to tell you the smartest and easiest way to make that happen. Consoles have stagnated for a long time, coupled with dated computer hardware and always falling behind full-fledged gaming PCs. Well, that changes today with the Xbox Series X and the PlayStation 5. These bring a slew of new features from 4K resolution to 120 FPS gaming and finally solid state hard drives. This video is not really about the PlayStation 5, it's all about the Series X and how you can get a hold of one right now. Let me explain what the Series X brings you versus a gaming PC. The Series X has an 8-core, 16-thread Zen 2 CPU in it. It's got 12 teraflops of a custom RDNA 2-based GPU, 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory, and a 1 terabyte NVMe SSD. A comparable gaming PC with those specs would cost you over $2,000 in today's market. Well, you can get a hold of an Xbox Series X for $499 USD. That's all I'm going to give you about the Series X. I'm not really here to tell you all about it. I'll save that for a later video after I've had time to test it. And if you don't want to miss that video, make sure you subscribe down below and click that bell so you'll be notified when videos get uploaded. This video is all about how I got my own Xbox Series X without waiting in any lines or going through any hassle, and I wasn't even really looking for one. This is the point in the video that you've all been waiting for. If you skipped ahead to this point, shame on you. This also works for the Series S too, so if you're curious, this method can work for the X or the S. First thing I want you to do is go to Google, type in Xbox All Access, and then click the first link that'll take you to xbox.com. It's like the first one or the second one in the listing there. This is All Access. Now don't click off of this. I know it sounds like an ad, but I'm not sponsored by Microsoft at all. I bought this with my own money and I thought it was a really good deal. Like after I did my research on it and everything, I think you should be doing it too. Like if you can afford to buy the Xbox, you can afford to do what I'm talking about. First off, what is All Access? All Access is Microsoft's little subscription service, I guess you could say, but it works for two years. It includes your choice of a console. You can pick the Xbox Series S or Xbox Series X, 24 months of Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. Xbox Game Pass Ultimate comes with over 100 games, including Halo Infinite, Forza Horizon 5, and Minecraft, to name a few. It also includes EA Play, which is access to all of EA's titles, like the entire Battlefield series. Minus 2042, they haven't added that yet. As long as you play six different games over the course of two years, Game Pass pays for itself. Because think about it, now each game is between $50 and $60 for one game. And you get a hundred of them that you can download at will. Think of this as a cell phone payment plan. You stretch out the course of two years for your Xbox and your Xbox Game Pass, and then you can pay it off early if you want to too, with no penalties. The retailers that participate in the All Access program are Walmart, Target, GameStop, and Best Buy. I got my Xbox from Best Buy. Now, if you click on one of those links that takes you to the company's websites like Best Buy or Walmart, currently, I just checked it before I started filming this video, Walmart and GameStop have the ability to click the button to buy the Xbox Series X. Best Buy and Target show a little sold out icon, but you can also do it for the Series S as well. Those are showing little yellow buttons that you can click to buy the item at the time. When I got on, Best Buy had Xbox Series Xs available, so maybe I just lucked out or something, but it gave me the option to buy it. I just clicked the button that said buy now, and it shipped it to the store. I bought it on the 18th of December, and I was able to pick it up the week before Christmas. So it only took me a week, week and a half, and I got my Xbox in the store. And I didn't pay anything. I just went and picked it up, and they started billing me the next month. Let's talk about the cost breakdown for this real quick, because I'm a numbers guy, and if something doesn't make sense financially, I'm not going to do it. Game Pass has different levels that you can buy. You can buy just the console for $9.99 a month, you can buy just the PC for $9.99 a month, or you can buy the Ultimate, which lets you do console and PC for $14.99 a month. When I did the breakdown of my All Access Pass, I paid $499 for the Xbox Series X, 
I paid $359.76 for Game Pass because that's what two years of Game Pass would cost for the Ultimate Edition if I paid for it myself anyway, you know, 15 bucks a month. And then there was $11 of random amounts because my total that I paid for the Series X console was $869.76. Out the door, that's no fees or anything. I didn't, I guess I technically paid $11 in tax. If I would have bought the item separate, like paid for the Series X, paid for Game Pass, not the Ultimate, just regular Game Pass, and then the $30 in tax I would have had to pay for the Series X out at the, the store at Best Buy, I would have spent $768.76. So for $100 more, I got Ultimate Game Pass, I got EA Play, which is included with Ultimate only. You don't get that with the $9.99 a month Game Pass. I got the convenience of getting my console right away and just walking into the store and picking it up. And then apparently I paid $11 in tax, which is less than what the real tax would have been. The two different prices that Microsoft gives you on the website for this All Access is $34.99 for the Series X or $24.99 for the Series S. Now, Citizens One Bank also has a really simple user interface. All you do is log on, you create a username and password, and you'll link your bank account information if you want to, to be able to auto pay. I set mine up to auto pay just because it's easier. And then you can go in here and you can choose your payments. You can choose to pay the entire thing off. If you already had the money for the Series X and you have Game Pass anyways, you might as well just pay for the whole thing up front. But you can do it this way and pick up your Series X without any kind of hassle rather than trying to find these stock websites or see if these companies have it in stock at the time. Now, I'm gonna to be totally honest with you. I've experienced both the PS5 and the Xbox Series X now. I think Sony needs to jump on the bandwagon that Microsoft has started. All access is a great idea, especially if you game a lot. If you're a heavy gamer and you love to try all the newest titles and everything, you can spend hundreds, if not thousands of dollars a year on video games. Yes, I can hear you complaining on the other side of the screen here, just another subscription, but if you're already paying for Xbox Game Pass, it really doesn't make any difference because you already pay a subscription. You're just paying $10 more and getting a console. But if you still don't have an Xbox and you're looking for one, Xbox All Access is the best way to look for it. Boy, that really did sound like an ad, didn't it? I promise, this is just me genuinely liking that idea. I think Microsoft is onto something and I'm really glad I got into their Game Pass features. Speaking of gaming, I'm gonna go play the Xbox right now and I'll let you know how it goes. And until that time, I'm Danny with Danny's Tech Channel and I'll see you in the next video. Cause I don't wanna lose you I hope you feel that way too No, 